Hello, Jordan Keller, District Technician for Richland Soil and Water Conservation District, here with another installment of our In the Know video series on stormwater permitting. Today we're going to discuss residential stormwater permitting. This can include projects such as new home construction, additions, pole barns, decks, porches, patios, driveways, and ponds. In our introductory video, we discussed how any project that entails earth disturbance and or the creation of impervious areas in the unincorporated areas of Richland County and the Village of Lexington will need to apply for a stormwater permit. So let's discuss the project process in greater detail to give you a better understanding of how to apply for a stormwater permit. In this example, we'll be discussing stormwater permitting for new home construction. The documents that are needed prior to applying for a stormwater permit of this project type are a copy of the approved zoning certificate if your project is in a zone township, a copy of the approved septic installation permit from the health department, and a site plan. Be advised there may be additional documentation required for your project depending on the project type and location. Once these documents have been obtained, you can fill out a stormwater permit application either in our office or by downloading it from our website. You'll also fill out our site calculation form, which breaks down the square footage of the different elements of the project, like the house, garage, driveway, and sidewalks separately. After filling out these forms, you can get them into us either by stopping into the office on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays, or by mailing or emailing them to us. After we've received all necessary documentation, we'll talk about the project in greater detail, discussing how the water, and excavated materials will be handled and what erosion and sediment control practices may be needed. For new home construction projects there is a fee for the stormwater permit which will need to be collected before the stormwater permit can be issued. This type of project is subject to stormwater inspections which are conducted by our technicians. Smaller projects such as porches and sheds may be fee exempt which means there is no permit fee but the project is still subject to stormwater inspections. Projects that are deemed to be permit exempt do not require a permit fee and are not subject to stormwater inspections. Be sure to go to our website for other useful information on stormwater permitting, including our permit checklist document, which walks you through what is needed to obtain a stormwater permit, and our sample site plan document, which is a good example of what we're looking for in a site plan. Remember, it is always a good idea to give us a call to discuss the project and determine if additional documentation from other agencies will be required prior to the issuance of the stormwater permit. On our website homepage is an I have a project button which is a questionnaire designed to help you through the process of getting a stormwater permit. It will alert you to what documentation you will need to obtain before you make a trip to the office. This questionnaire does not take into account if your project is in a floodplain or the Muskingum Watershed Conservancy District, so please call us ahead of time to verify whether additional documentation is needed. This has been another installment of the In the Know series on stormwater permits. We hope this has given you a better understanding of stormwater permitting in Richland County. If you still have questions, please call our office at 419-747-8686.